Well, my friends, we are now going to Austria with uh, our next country. Um, we didn't actually have to skip anything on this one, but we will have to on the next video. Um, I'm afraid Azerbaijan tragically is outside my scope <laughs> um, at this time. Um, but actually, that may or may not be true. Let me, I do have a rupee. check on that may or may not uh, that state may or may not have ended up part of that situation when everything split uh, but anyway we'll figure that out next video right now we got to worry about this video and what is this video I'm glad you asked guys um, this video is actually Austria so Austria Austria we just saw Austria um, but we can see it again. We love Austria, right? Um, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> right? Austria. Lovely, lovely Austria. Ooh, Edelweiss. Edelweiss. Every morning you Come on, y'all know the song. Small and white, clean and bright. You look happy to meet me. Blossom of snow, may you bloom and grow. Bloom and grow forever. Edelweiss, bless my homeland forever. I wonder what that sounds like in uh, Austrian. Edelweiss, Edelweiss. No, <laughs> shut up, <laughs> Cray cray. For the hey hey, we got Austria, Austria. With so much Austria. I've got the, so Austria, right? Let's talk about this. Are we talking about Austria? Or are we talking about Austro-Hungary? Oh, Habsburgs or modern day? And I say you have to kind of count both, don't you? Yeah? And uh, as we get into some of these other countries that exist today that didn't exist back in the day, I might have to resort to... Uh, pulling out something like uh, this old uh, Kronenthaler you know and saying oh well Czechoslovakia used to be part of Austro-Hungarian Empire uh, Salzburg certainly was huh yeah those Habsburgs man they had a nice little uh, <laughs> little thing going for quite a long time. You know, they actually came out of Switzerland. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that about them Habsburgs. They, they actually came out of Switzerland. Um, so, there's that. Yeah. Oh boy. Kronenthaler. We got some oldies but goodies in this lot, don't we? There's old Maria Teresa. Not a restrike, just the legit, real deal Evander Holyfield. Coin from 1770. Yeah. What were you doing in 1770? But if you think that's old, huh? It gets older. 
here's a little something from 1755. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, 17 cruisers. <laughs> so if you take this coin, right, and the three cruiser I had earlier, right? <laughs> oh, this is crazy, right? Or three single cruisers. Huh? Lithuanian coins in here. That's odd. Okay. Anyway, uh, I'll have to remember that for when we get to Lithuania, because uh, there's not a lot of that. Okay. Three cruisers. So this is twenty cruisers if you put them together. Uh, that's an odd, odd denomination, though, isn't it? Yeah. Old guy there. Francis would be my guess. Francis. Old Francis. Alright, we got some, oh man, we got all kinds of old timey stuff here. Yeah. Oh man, old timey. Of course we got our Maria Teresa restrike. We like those. $16.50. That's a nice number. I like that. Um, of course, we have those moderns we talked about. We got some uh, 1800 stuff. Yeah. 1849, six cruisers. That's fun. Um, I got some Hungarian stuff, but we're not going to get into that until, you know, we get to Hungary on the list. But, uh, you know, it's it's uh, Austro-Hungary, so at that time, they were the same place, same country. You know, they did stop the Turks. <clears throat> the Turks were coming pretty hardcore, and the siege of Vienna was a pretty big deal in, in European history. Not as cool as the Battle of Tours, mind you, but definitely a watershed moment. Uh, for the Turks, uh, the Ottoman. Ooh, they like these florins. These florins are nice, you know. Um, this coin's a hundred years older than me. Huh? And it's cartwheels. <laughs> That's cool, right? Uh, and then you got coins like this that look medieval, but they're actually modern. But, uh, you know, really cool stuff there man really cool uh, this one's under melt too you know we talked about that a little bit earlier today didn't we yeah Nothing like good old silver under melt I've always said that yeah. I think these forms are neat uh, Franz Josef you know he ruled for a long time that guy he, he had a very long life I got a bunch of these. We kind of talked about these earlier. Yeah. I got all of these. So many. Yeah. And they're always under melt. Yeah. Always under melt. So that's great. Then you'll see something like this that you maybe uh, see some cartwheels and you pay a little, a little more than you should have. You know, because you really like it. Right. So that's not under melt, not at all. You might see something like this, something in a 0 .520 that you think's cool from 1859, and you might pay way over melt for it because it's only .0894, and you paid eight dollars and sixteen cents. Then you realize, man, that's a really cool coin. Might as well pay for it. And then you're like, well, you know, Franz used to be a young guy. And might as well have a florin that looks like he's young. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. And, you know, we can just go on and on here, guys. Blah, blah, blah. Um, lots of cool. We're just hitting the high points here. Oh, here's a Hammer Time coin from the, this is really old. 
1657. And this is from the County of Tyrol, Ferdinand Karl of Austria. And there you go. Yeah, really, really old school there. And then, something a little more modern, right? You could have something like this. 1925, the Austrian shilling with the Edelweiss on the back. $3.70. Not bad. And, um, you know, it's got the really cool horse in the building there. Some kind of... Oh, here we go. Man. 1926, a half shilling. Cartwheeling at me. Winking at me. Yeah. Uh, gotta love that. Uh, we talked about these recently. This is your 10 shilling for $1.93. <laughs> and then you got your 5 shillings. I got just dozens and dozens of these just everywhere. Just pages and pages of them. But not all my stuff's, you know, modern. Here's that 1756 10 Cruiser, you know. Yeah, I'm not showing you every coin, guys. I'm just kind of hitting the high water marks here. And this one is actually an overdate variety. It's a 1756 over 57. So, um, couldn't find that in any books, but it's it's definitely legit. Um, a really cool coin I picked up for 10 bucks. I mean, way over Mel because it's only 0 0.0625 ounces. But, <laughs> I mean, this is, let's look at this again. This is Maria Teresa. And it's a contemporary coin. It's not a re-strike. So, uh, actually quite rare. Uh, these coins are pretty rare. Uh, they have a numismatic scarcity index number in the 90s, as I recall. Uh, we got some proofy modern stuff. Uh, plus his little heart. Yeah, a little over melt, a little over melt, not too much. It'll be about twenty-five dollars an ounce. That's it. I mean, you, you're not going to buy a generic for that. Uh, whew, oh, this is cool. Yeah, that's a modern piece too. Here's a modern one. Actually, you know what? I uh, I got so much. Uh, I got dozens of these cool, really cool. Uh, I bought a collection of these. I mean, right at Melt. And they're actually pretty rare. No, none of the mintage is over 3 million, and some of them are really low. And, and I got just bunches of them. And they're. Uh, you know, they're, they're really cool, man. I, I'd like to finish the collection, get the whole thing. Um, every, uh, and it's achievable. This is uh, something you could do. You could actually get the full collection of modern uh, 25 shilling coins. Now these aren't 90% like the 50 shillings, but they, they are really cool, man. Uh, really cool. <sighs> About a third of an ounce, if I remember right. Um, there's not one of our 50 shillings now. This isn't the 5.7, and it's not best because only because it's not 90%. If you look at the coin, it's the same size as the 90% coins, but it's uh, they changed the mix 64% slower, yeah. But uh, so you gotta be careful on that, but uh. Still a cool coin. Oh man, there's just so many guys. I don't even know where to start. Uh, all these hip cats wearing these <laughs> fancy hats and such. Um, you know, they're, they're really neat, I think. I think they're neat. I mean, this guy looks like a hoot, don't he? Huh? I and mean, Vaughn means he's royalty. He's, yeah, Vaughn. Oh, 
Oh, look at this guy. Would you hang out with that guy? Huh? Party time. Oh. That's neat. Yeah, 64%. But uh, cool design nonetheless. Seven fifty each on all of these. So. This one's a little more silvery than the others. It's a fifty shilling. Same lot, so I just divided the lot up and put the price. piece man nice nice grab I got there you guys have seen this oldie but goodie and this isn't technically a coin it's a metal but I got it under melt and it is official it is from the Austrian mint so it is it, it's a you know governments don't only make coins they also make metals Metals are fun. Yes. And, guys, there's just so many. Here we go. This is Leopold the Hogmouth. And I've always wanted a coin with Leopold on it. Uh, <laughs> so I got one. I, I paid $45.95 for it. But, yeah. Leopold, that he had the Habsburg jaw so bad that they called him Leopold the Hogmouth. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, these are a little old these are the two shillings um, these are nicer these are more sought after coins than those moderns we were looking at there yeah yeah they're pretty rare uh, <laughs> it almost looks like Stalin don't he mustache is too big This is uh, actually Hungarian. Yeah. But really cool. Very cool. Very cool. There's more. I'm, I'm skipping over stuff, guys. But we're just we're hitting the high points, right? Um, just hitting the high points. Yeah. Guys. Austria, I, this video is long enough. You, you, we've seen enough. Here's a proof, looks like. Man, these are nice and a proof, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, uh, phone a friend. Let everyone know that we're going around the world, okay? And uh, have an amazing day. Thanks for watching. Like, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Stay tuned for the next episode.